Hey guys, Alexandra here and welcome back to the channel. So if this is your very first time here, I just want to say welcome to you. Thanks so much for coming by and I hope you will click that subscribe button down below so you can catch more videos like today's as well as the little bell so you get notified when I make new videos. I do upload three times a week on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I want to talk to you guys very frankly today about the naked palettes. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts and all that good stuff, then let's go ahead and jump in. Okie dokie guys, so first things first. So how this video kind of came to be. So last week, I've, I guess it was like last week, last week-ish, I filmed a video for you guys, um, you know, based on the Naked Heat palette kind of recently releasing on which Naked palette is right for you. And I filmed that video and I had the palette sitting next to me. It was edited, it was ready to go. But then I decided I wanted to kind of play with them again because it's been some time really since I pulled for any of the Naked palettes except for the Naked Heat. I was like, you know, I feel like I should play with these. They're, you know, they're sitting right here. Let's, you know, let's use them. And so I consistently use them for several days of work. And I came to the conclusion that I just, I don't like them. And I felt like it would be disingenuous of me to upload that video for you guys when I could not honestly recommend any of the palettes to you except for the Naked Heat. The Naked Heat is genuinely only one of these palettes out of all of them that I have that I actually enjoy using and enjoy the looks that I create with it. I just felt like they were super difficult to blend, um, super difficult to work with, and I used a couple of different eye bases. Um, so it wasn't the eye base, I used a couple of different bases and they were just difficult to blend. I just wasn't happy with the looks and maybe that's part, part of that is maybe like my, you know, my preference for eyeshadow and that's okay too. Um, but I just felt like they were difficult to blend and I just wasn't happy with the looks I was creating. And then I was also noticing how much fading was happening during the day. And again, I changed bases so that didn't matter. Um, and th there was just fading throughout the day that I haven't experienced you know, with a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I kind of was in, you know, in shock and awe, but I felt like I needed to kind of share my experience with you guys. And I think part of it really just is that, you know, when the Naked palettes first came out, they were unique, they were special, and nobody else had really done what they were doing. But now, you know, the market is saturated with makeup and everybody's doing new and different things. And I think just where the direction of makeup is headed and all this different stuff, like, there's just better quality out there. I mean, that's just the bottom, the bottom line of it all. If, you know, if you love the Naked palettes, that's awesome. I'm not trying to ship, throw shade at you in any way, shape, or form. If you love them, that is great, but they just don't work for me. You know, for all the reasons that I just mentioned, it's just, they don't work for me, and I don't know that they have a home in my collection anymore, with the exception of the Naked Heat. I think I just, I might have to declutter them. You know, and you know, I love Urban Decay as a brand, um, but it's just one of those things where I just don't feel like they are hypeable anymore. Um, and in some ways, you know, I find them a little bit, I don't know if irrelevant is the right word, but not, I don't know, they're just not, they're just not on par with, you know, some of the other, you know, neutral palettes anymore. That's just kind of the bottom line, you know, in my opinion. But I wanted to keep this video, you know, diplomatic, but also positive and kind of share with you some alternatives to the Naked palettes that I think you will enjoy that I prefer um, the looks that I get and the longevity and that sort of stuff. So, and most of these are on par in price range with the Naked palettes. Um, some a little more, some a little less. Um, two matte options. One of them is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Um, while Too Faced and I are kind of, you know, on a break right now, <laughs> Um, we broke up for a little while, uh, but this truly is one of their best eyeshadow palettes. Um, their nine pans have been some of my favorite in terms of quality. This is a great one. It has a lot of great versatility in terms of warms and cools and neutral tones. Very easily, easily set up, if I could talk, <laughs> and easy to use. Also super blendable. So I really enjoy this one, and I think this one is 36 um, Nakeds are 45 now, I think. Um, 54. Naked palettes are $54 now. Um, then the next one that's similar, I think this one, I don't know the price off the top of my head, so I'll put it in an annotation. 
Um, but then the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, it's no surprise to you if you've been watching my channel how much I love this. I used to talk about it all the time. This creates beautiful matte eyeshadow looks that are just absolutely stunning and just really easy to work with and to blend. Another great alternative is from the drugstore. This one also is all matte, and this one comes from Hard Candy, believe it or not. This is the Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. I did re recently mention this in a different video. I don't remember which video off the top of my head, but I'll try to link it in the cards or down below talking about it. But I feel like this is just a great, versatile matte palette. It's very easy to use, easy to blend. I don't like the brushes that are included, and obviously the packaging is not, you know, naked quality, but... It just, it's a really, it's a really nice formula and I really enjoyed the looks that I've created with it. Then if you want some shimmer in your life, like the Naked palettes mostly offer, you know, matte and shimmer, um, usually more shimmer than matte, but um, with the exception of the Naked Heat palette. Um, but the Persona Identity palette, this, I think this one is 32, maybe? Um, but this is a great option. This is was created by Sonia Gaspari and here on YouTube. Um, and this is a little more warm leaning, but this has a nice mix of matte and shimmer shades, or at least like a satin and shimmer shade. And the quality, again, is absolutely excellent and just performs absolutely beautifully. And the last one I want to recommend to you is the Tartlet in Blue. This one is also kind of a matte shimmer combo option, and they've done a nice job, just like some of the other palettes, of setting it up in a very user-friendly way from lightest to deepest. Um, and kind of making those recommendations. There's some pops of shimmer in here, as well as some, you know, matte, um, your like staple matte shades. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and it didn't hurt any of your feelings because that was not my intention. So I do hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know what you guys think of this um, type of video. I would love to know your feedback. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.